Thanks, Al. And that's 7 News at 6. Thanks for your company. Hope you enjoy your evening. Here's today tonight. Hello, I'm Helen Kapalos. Thanks for joining me. You're watching Today Tonight. First up, a television first. A special behind-the-scenes report on Australia's biggest motorcycle gang, the Rebels. A national task force has vowed to smash the Rebels' bikey gang. They're being investigated by an unprecedented 14 state and federal agencies. Neil Dawley reports. <laughs> They say they're misunderstood. We don't go looking for a bit of, you know, we're not, never going to back away from anywhere that wants it, you know. They are the Rebels, Australia's largest outlaw motorcycle gang with an estimated 2,000 members split into more than 60 chapters across the country. Yeah, that's what it is, the brotherhood, yeah. Where loyalty, trust and getting the club's colours mean everything. Rebels forever, forever rebel, you know, but um, it's just while you've got this patch on your back, that's, that's sort of what you're, um, you know, just a motto of, of um, what we're all about, that's all. Tomorrow night, the bikey cove silence and the tactics used by the National Task Force to bring down the rebels. Last night, we saw another side to billionaire James Packer in an emotional interview with Sunday Night. Mr Packer shed tears on a couple of occasions, something that you would never see from his father, the late Kerry Packer, considered a very tough man. So is this a sign of the times? James Thomas spoke to reporter Mike Willisey earlier today. He said he loved me and he said he was proud of me. Uh, 24 hours later, his doctor rang and said, get on the plane, he's got 24 hours to live. And I got home and held his hand and he passed. And um, Dad knew that he didn't tell me. But he, he was a big man, Mike. He was a big man. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You're proud of him? I think that's pretty cool. I thought it was great. He had this stuff inside him that he wanted to unload and he did. For the crying, Somehow, it didn't bother him, and I really admire him for that. I don't like to get emotional. <laughs> there seems to have been a shift, has there not, in the way men behave. Why do you think that is? Well, you're talking about strong leaders, and that's good. As I said, we're allowed to laugh, but we're not allowed to cry. It doesn't make sense. It's nonsense. Kerry Francis Bullmore Packer. I, re I appear here this afternoon reluctantly. Has Kerry Packer ever cried? Did he ever cry? I never saw it and I can't imagine it. He was a tough guy, but not crying doesn't mean you're tough, you know. I think James was tough to cry and, uh, and accept it. That's what happened. James Thomas reporting there. After the break, the Spice Girls given a reality check. And you be the judge, cast your verdict on real court cases. To the Spice Girls, they sought their 15 minutes of fame and they certainly got it, plus a whole lot more. But enough is enough. Since their appearance on My Kitchen Rules, they've become the most vilified girls in the country, even receiving death threats. Controversy is our middle name. <laughs> it was a horrible dish and we were really happy. We never even imagined that we would be talked about this. I really dislike him, so if it does, then that's going to ruin the whole dish for me. I never just, thought, wow. like, our comments would be so big. To get that threat, it is a bit difficult, but look, you know, again, it is what it is, and we're just trying to take it in a positive light and not yeah. really stress not, about... Not really stress about few that are actually giving us death threats. Yeah. Sorry. The downside of fame. Well, now to someone who certainly knows the ups and downs of fame, Darren Hinch. Tonight he's back in court, but in a very different role, presenting a new segment, You Be the Judge. We'll be showing a number of controversial legal cases and giving you the opportunity to pass judgment. Here's how you do it. Simply download the Fango app from our website, yahoo7.com.au forward slash today tonight or from the app stores. After Darren outlines the evidence, we'll ask you a question and you send us your verdict via Fango. Here's Darren. 
Tonight, you be the judge. A woman is sent out of town by her boss, the federal government. She gets hurt having sex in a motel room. She sues her employer for compo. Should she get it? This is how it happened. The woman, we'll call her Brenda, because the courts suppressed her name, is sent to a country town to meet the staff and discuss dreary things like budgets. She decides to liven up her evening. You Be The Judge continues with Darren Hinge. Back to the case of Brenda. She was injured having sex while working out of town. Brenda was attached to the human relations section of a Commonwealth Government agency. Well, she was certainly taking human relations seriously, even having some while off duty. The government said she wasn't entitled to compo. The appeals tribunal agreed. A federal court judge said she was. What do you think? There was an appeal before the full bench of the federal court, judges Keane, Buchan and Bromberg. In a 19-page judgment, they noted that the High Court has ruled that a man injured playing lunchtime cricket on the concrete outside a hangar where he worked was entitled to compensation from his boss. Is bedtime sex the same as lunchtime cricket? Hugh be the judge. The appeals court judges ruled in her favour. Brenda got the money. You read this decision and the first judge and the appeal judges, they legally got it right. And recently, Comcare has announced it's appealing to the High Court. My verdict. If the light fixture simply fell, then Brenda had a case to sue the motel. If she pulled it down in a moment of passion, then, sorry, Brenda, that's life. In the court of common sense. Come on, Brenda, you made your bed, lie in it. We've just heard the decision of the Federal Court and Darren's verdict, but what do you think at home? Well, 90% of you say the woman didn't deserve compensation for her injury, while 10% agree that she did. Now we'll look ahead to tomorrow's program and what the world really thinks about Australia and Australians. I won't stay there again. You could get better in Brazil. It's a bit deceiving. Is it worth spending your money here in Australia? Australia really needs to take a clean sheet of paper and start again. Are you going to come back? Um... Also tomorrow, the crackdown on bikie gangs and how the tactics of the police task force is affecting them. But that's all for tonight. Thanks for your company. It's been great to be with you. I'm Helen Kapalos. Enjoy your evening. We'll see you all tomorrow.